Raymond is very endearing in that he always makes the wrong choice. And his consistency in choosing the wrong thing is kind of sweet, actually. You just know it's not going to work out well. And that's kind of fun to see, actually, yeah. Well, no, Raymond looks like Mr. Bean, but he thinks in his head he's Jason Bourne. And that's kind of like every guy, really. And... And he's just this bad decision-making machine. You know, is he an anti-hero? I don't know. It's more, um, you'd only want to have dinner with him once, and that would be enough for a lifetime. No, it wasn't hard or... Uh, I mean, the characters sort of... I'm not quite sure how they emerge from one's psyche, but they do emerge. And he sort of was born completely intact with all of his vileness and all of his... Uh, uh, wrongness. Still not quite sure where he came from, actually. Um, but it wasn't hard to write Raymond at all. He wrote me, and and he'd do this crazy stuff, and like, oh my god, I can't believe he just said or did that. And like, oh wait, technically I did that, didn't I? So it was. it's always fun when you write to have your characters to sort of colonize your existence. It was fun. Yeah. Raymond's kind of like, imagine if Captain Haddock from Tintin swore. I mean, that, that would be Raymond. Uh, I'm a very garden variety swearer. And, uh, but also Raymond's English, you have to remember that. I mean, only the English can swear the way they do. He, he couldn't have been Canadian or American or anything else. Maybe Australian. Americans do all these things that they do, <clears throat> and yet Swearing is the thing that's considered bad. I don't quite understand that myself. Uh, there's sort of a catharsis or a liberation you get from swearing. It might just be a sort of puritanistic streak in American culture. I mean, Canadians do. I mean, I don't know the scientific statistics here, but they definitely do swear a lot more than Americans, that's for sure. Well, it's quite divisive. Um, you either love it or hate it. You get it or you don't get it. And if you're not, you're not. And if you do, you do. Uh, I'm not really used to being con controversial. Uh, but there is that side of it. Um, I think a lot of people who maybe come out of l English lit programs, they've got this sort of invisible fourth-year lit teacher that's forever perched on their shoulder, sort of saying, like, like listen to me. I'm, I'll teach you what you like or don't like. And most people never shake that. I think if you can just get through the first 20 pages, I call it the swear wall. If you can get through the swear wall, then you're in for the rest of the book, and some people just can't get through that wall.